Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. Wire Sponge is down, so let's move on to the second stage, Wheel Gator, and the Dinosaur Tank stage. Hello, Wheel Gator. I do Wheel Gator stage second, because... Well, the stage isn't too hard, and the boss isn't too hard, but... Also, um... Wheel Gator's weapon, you need to get some of the upgrades. Including the one in the next stage I'll go... I'll do. Unfortunately, there is no sub-tank in this stage, and you can't get the heart tank the first time through. At least if you're going by my order. See that? You can't get up there yet, because you need the boots upgrade. Which, obviously, I haven't gotten yet. I should mention the music in this stage is called Panzer des Drachen, which is German for Tank of the Dragon. I think Mega Man X2 and X7 were the only games in the series to actually have names for the music. Or titles. Okay, is it even possible to get up there without the boots? Whatever. Just eight units of energy for my sub-tank. <laughs> the music in Wire Sponge's stage was, um, Weather, weather Wizard? Yes, we have a ride armor. I think every Mega Man X game has at least one stage with ride armor, and, well, this is the one for X2. I can't think of another stage in this game that has it, except maybe one of the fortress stages. I can't remember. Press up and B to get out of it. Now there's the heart tank, but how exactly do you get that? You can't climb spikes, obviously. Once again, upgrades that we don't have yet. I suppose I should show off, um, Wire Sponge's weapon, the Strike Chain. So you can destroy those guys in one hit. Pull you toward the wall. And it has quite a bit of ammo, too. I mean, you get two shots for every, um, bar of energy. Ah, I almost hit the spikes there. Actually, I don't think any weapon in the 16-bit Mega Man X games used up and required any more than uh, one bar of energy for one shot. At least one uncharged shot. Now you can actually go even farther up here if you want. Another one of those doors that we're not going to go in yet. But you got a one-up out of the deal, so... I think this is one of only two stages I actually got to the boss on the first time I played this game. The other one being Overdrive Ostrich's stage. I imagine these guys would be pretty decent and pretty good for farming. Because they continuously respawn, you know. Whoa! Sneak attack! Also, I don't remember the background having such a dark palette here. There's the exit from that energy if you need it. That should be enough to fill that sub-tank. Could have sworn there was something there, but maybe not. Yeah, definitely filled. And there's the box door. I'm missing a bit of my energy, which is rather a pity. Wheel Gator is one of these those bosses that's not exactly hard per se, but it's really quite a pain in the butt to actually fight. He has this 
pool of red mud that he resides in. And then he throws these wheels, or blades or whatever, up the wall, and whoa! Ow, and then he does that! Come on. Yeah, you, that's why you want to stay on the wall. Because if you get and go down into the mud, then he's likely to jump right up and attack you. When he's flashing like that, you can only hit him with a charge shot. He always throws either one or two wheels, usually two. The first one always comes from the middle, the second one comes from the corner. He also has this attack, where he throws, uh, well, you saw it. This is a good boss to give you carpal tunnel syndrome. With all the holding down the Y button you have to do to stay on the wall and all. I think you can actually hit yourself with your shots if you hit him while he's flashing and you hit him with an uncharged shot, because it'll reflect. Sometimes he throws two pairs of bouncing wheels, which is really a pain to dodge. Dang it. Whoa. Oh yeah, and he does this. Which basically, he just made a... Uh... Hey! I can't do that! Oh, you weren't supposed to do that twice. But he's, he's dead anyway, so... Yeah, notice how the wall is now spiky there? If you try to climb on that part, it will hurt you. So, you want to defeat him before he does that too many times. Since good luck climbing the walls if there's more than one spiky part on it. Even one, if it's in the wrong place, can be a pain. So, now we beat Wheel Gator and we got the... Spin Wheel. It's kind of like the, um, Wheel Cutter or whatever it's called in Mega Man 10, but... Although, this one kind of came first. It shoots this wheel that follows the ground and cuts things. I see now why Sigma fell at the hands of Mega Man X. He is quite formidable. I am not sure our Mavericks can hold him long enough. We may have to intervene. So yeah, now the X Hunters are loose. Dr. Kane! What happened? A group of Mavericks calling themselves the X-Hunters. Uh, why they use parentheses and not quotation marks there? Have just contacted us. Greetings! We have all of Zero's parts. Because Zero died in Mega Man X1, sort of. They can be yours if you can defeat us. We look forward to meeting you, X. X-Zero's control chip is still stored here. I doubt it is possible to resurrect him without it. Dr. Kane, I've got to get Zero's parts back. At any cost. And we get the password. 553368853781 And that's two stages down, and... After the second stage you beat, the X-Hunters always show up. And those spot the stages that are marked with the Sigma sign are where they are. The X Hunters are who you fight if you go into the Um Doors. You know, the ones I like the one in Wheel Gear stage that I didn't go into. You actually can't even enter the doors if the X Hunter isn't there. So, two stages down, six to go, and that's it for this one, so I'll see you next time.